In the first case, we had factors with two levels. We know that two level factors carry a linear relationship. When the factors follow a non-linear relation, designs with more than two levels would be required for apt uh, representation and analysis. So let's look at a case where we have six factors all at three levels. In this case, we have to study the main effects of all the factors and the interaction effects between factor A and B and between B and C. Like in the earlier case, we would calculate the degrees of freedom which is levels minus 1 and sum them all to get the total degrees of freedom. So we have all the factors at level 3 and the degrees of freedom would be 3 minus 1. So we get 2 here and coming to the interaction, it would be 3 minus 1 into 3 minus 1. So 2 into 2 is 4 and when we sum it up, we get the total degrees of freedom as 20. Total number of experimental runs is given by degrees of freedom plus 1, which would be 20 plus 1, 21 in this case. And the orthogonal array that we end up selecting should be greater than the number of experiments, which is 21 in this case. So uh, referring to the standard OA table here, the nearest LA would be L27. You can also say uh, 25 is uh, greater than you know, 21, but if you look at these six factors, they should be at level 5. Whereas in our case, we want the factors to be at level 3. The required linear graph in this case will have six nodes for six main effects and interactions A, B and B, C will be represented as the edges. The standard linear graph for L27 looks like this. In this case, we see that the interaction is represented by two columns as there are three levels in each factor. So the degrees of freedom will be 3 minus 1 that is 2 and so we will need two columns to represent these two levels. Since we have to study all the main factors and the interaction affects A, B and B, C, we move the edge between column 1 and 5 numbered as 6 and 7 to the node positions. Next we need to allocate the factors to the columns. So we had our factors as A, B, C, D, E, F and we had to study the interactions A, B and B, C. So our first factor A goes to the first node 1 which is going to be represented as column 1 in the array. Similarly B goes to column 2, C goes to the third node which is 5 here that is C will be represented as column 5, D as column 9, E as column 10, F as column 12. Interaction AB will be represented as column 3 and 4, BCS column 8 and 11. This is the standard experimental layout for L27 array. Based on our uh, factor allotment of A to 1, B to 2, uh, C to 5, D to 9, E to 10, F to 12, we choose the 1st, 2nd, 5th, 9th, 10th and 12th columns from the default array. As we did in first case, we will leave out those columns which are uh, getting confounded by the factors between which we need to study the interactions. So we leave out column 3, 4, uh, 8 and 11 as they represent the confounded interaction of column 1, 2 and column 2, 5 respectively. So this would be the final experimental layout for the current example.